Thousands of children are diagnosed with cancer each year. Each of these children have a story. Here are two stories about two boys who bonded together through their journey to beat cancer at the Kids Beating Cancer Pediatric Transplant Center. Both, facing death with courage through their friendship, got a second chance at life with a bone marrow transplant, their only hope for a cure. Grayson was originally diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2015 at the age of 12. When Grayson was first diagnosed, it's like a tornado in your brain. You, your worst nightmares come to the forefront when somebody says your child has cancer. He went through several rounds of chemotherapy and 17 radiation treatments to bring him into remission. Unfortunately, about nine months later, his cancer returned with a vengeance. He went through another eight rounds of chemo, which sadly did not bring him into remission as expected. Grayson's medical team made the decision to remove his abdominal tumor so he could have a life-saving stem cell transplant in February 2017. This time, it worked. He did remarkably well and was released from the hospital on day 14 post-transplant. He then underwent 22 more rounds of radiation. Dr. Shook, Dr. Hajar, our wonderful physicians, our whole medical team, been absolutely spectacular day in and day out through the whole process. Jay was diagnosed in January 2014 at the age of seven after a strange bruise appeared on the back of his knee. What could have been any child's minor injury turned into a long journey battling cancer. After months of hospital stays for chemotherapy, severe fevers, and a series of infections, a fungal infection in his neck led to another five surgeries. Just when they thought it couldn't get any worse, Jay relapsed with leukemia in August 2016, and he was admitted to the Kids Beating Cancer Pediatric Transplant Center in September 2016. His only chance of receiving a life-saving bone marrow transplant meant the amputation of his arm from the shoulder down to eliminate the aggressive infection. When Jay found out that he relapsed and that he was gonna need to have a transplant, he asked us two questions. Was he going to die? And was he gonna to get to decorate his room? Because he knew that kids beating cancer did the my rooms. Obviously the first question is a pretty tough one to answer. And so having something to look forward to really meant a lot to him. With no other siblings as potential donors and no matching donors on the National Registry, the Kids Beating Cancer Pediatric Transplant Center's advanced medical procedures, which are only offered in a handful of transplant centers nationwide, allowed Jay's father to be turned into a viable donor, giving him the ability to save his son's life. After the transplant, Jay faced multiple life-threatening complications, including the return of the fungal infection in his other shoulder, pelvis, and brain. After receiving 18 surgeries over the last 11 months, Jay was finally discharged a few weeks ago. Following his discharge, evidence of the fungal infection was detected in his ankles. Children like Jay and Grayson can have a second chance at life. The science behind the cure is only possible with you.